Let's do vanadium, for example, here. Vanadium has a quantum number, atomic number of three. So uh, we will start at the top of the chart and say 1s2. All right, look at your chart. In fact, I can draw a little cheat chart up here to help us with it. And then we'll drop down here and go 2s2, and then 2p6, then 3s2, and then 3p6. So we're down here, right? And then after the third one, then you get into the fourth one, which would be the D block. Okay. So on your periodic table, we come over here and it says 4s2, and then 3d. And on the 3D, we're counting over to vanadium, and it's about right there, and it's one, two, three spaces over. So one, two, three spaces over, so we'll have three spaces there. So if you read your periodic table from top to bottom, from left to right, uh, when you end up at vanadium, you should end up with the 3D notation. So let's draw our orbitals here for that. Now a D, if you count in that D block, you should count over 10 spaces. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So starting with SC or scantium and then counting all the way over to Z and zinc, there's 10 spaces there. But we stopped at vanadium. Uh, because that's the electron configuration that we're going for here. So vanadium would have a 3D3 orientation. And since you have the possibility of having five different orientations, one, two, three, four, five, you have a possibility of having 10 total electrons. And so you show the blank orbitals when you're doing your orbital notation. And as before, we fill them singly until they have to pair. We'll cross these out since they're all the way full. Just make it a little faster to do it. 3D10. Okay. Let's do another one as well. Let's do, uh, maybe we will do uh, selenium, SE. Selenium has 34. I'm going to show you a trick to be able to do this a little bit faster and it's called the short form orientation. Okay, so if you write a short form electron configuration, you can uh, use what they call the noble gas core as your starting place. So with that, the noble gases are in group 18. So they're the ones over at the far end of the periodic table right here. So for selenium, you know that the electrons are full all the way down above selenium to the noble gas that's directly above selenium, which is argon. So if you look on the periodic table, you have selenium right here in the P block. It's atomic number 34. And the element above selenium is sulfur. So you would go over chlorine and then you'd look at argon, and argon would be the first notation in your short form electron configuration. So what you would do is you would draw brackets like this, and you go AR18. And then you would start your electron configuration on atomic 19 all the way down to 34, which is selenium. So our electron configuration there would be a 4s2. If you stop there, it would be calcium, then 3d10, and that would take you all the way through zinc, and then 4e, and then you count over to selenium, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4p4 4 here, it would be selenium. And you would fill the last electrons here. We'll cross these out since they're all the way full. So now with our 4P4, we will fill them singly and then we will pair like that. 